はい I have a big yard, so、uh, lots, of, lots of yard work, and then obviously getting the dock in and out, and then putting all the,、uh, the toys away for the winter. But this year, Tom Pettit's fall cleaning routine is slightly unconventional. There's no official way to get his boat out of the water on Christmas Lake. We have about 120 boats on the water that had to get out, and our landing does not work. The DNR closed the lake's only boat landing while it works to eliminate the zebra mussel population. If that gives us the opportunity to eradicate them, we will do everything we can. So, over the next three weekends, Joe Schneider, along with other volunteers, will work in shifts at this temporary boat landing they built on a neighbor's property until every watercraft is off the lake. The boaters line up in the water and wait their turn, like this patient jet skier in a jacket. Can you feel your feet?、Oh, yeah, nothing hurts. A little numb, but that's fine. We have them scheduled every 20 minutes. So that gives us some time to have something go right and something go wrong, and we still can make the schedule. And thanks to a little chaos and a lot of creativity, I took it out this morning. Pettit now has one less chore to worry about. It's always good to have it done. <laughs> We connected by family and we connected by music, so I just called it the Brass Connection. My name is Roger Wanger. I love music because it's in my heart since birth, been playing it ever since I was born. People call me Tuba Colosa. I love music because I've been doing it since I was six years old and I just have a passion for it. We just like to play our horns. People love us. Charlotte loves us. It's wonderful. It's, it's wonderful just to enjoy the people. We're bringing joy to them. See other people jump to your music, man. It's feel good. You love the, the energy from the people. They, they give us energy and we feed back on that. We're trying to expand out. Trying to go out so people can hear the music, the good music. We love it so much, you know, it's, it's in our hearts. I'm just glad to be playing music, man. Just glad to be playing music. People love us here, and we love them. It's only about a one mile stretch, but the renovation slated to start Monday here on the Martin Luther King Jr. Expressway could determine whether Whistle Stop owner Linda Todd stays in business. It's, gonna, it's just going to kill us. I mean, it honestly is. The highway department is closing one lane of the bypass at a time while they repave, also renovating all four exits to Airport Road. So people probably need to find an alternate route through there. Just in time for tourism season. So if you're in Hot Springs, don't go down and take the bypass, just go down and go through town. Who's going to try to fight the traffic and go through downtown Hot Springs to get here? Already behind schedule due to a delay in supplies, the project could easily go through the 4th of July holiday. Tourist is very important to us. They close this bypass down, one lane even, that's really going to back up traffic. And these drivers aren't used to waiting. You stop the tourist. We're stopped, we're done. And here it is, my tourist season's fixing to be the 4th of July. Everybody just now starting to really take your vacations. Todd says she and her employees depend on this time of year to stay afloat. If you stop these tourists here, that's not only going to hurt me, that's going to hurt Lake Washita. What's going to be the challenges for people that are going to go out to the west side and go to the lake? And with the only direct route to Lake Washita clogged up for the beginning of the summer, Business at the whistle stop does not look good. I understand there's time limits, I understand there's funding, there's money that they have to appropriate. I understand all that. But summertime in Hot Springs, why would you do it in Hot Springs in the summertime? I mean, tourists come here, that's what we are. If you don't have tourists, you don't have Hot Springs. Hi, what do you think? And then stopping, come here, and ho, back. Thank you. Maddie Kanda just started training Bug. She's a very fast learner, too. Bug's a five year old Spanish Mustang rescue. She's been in foster care most of her life. You can't her. Her mom didn't survive, so she was an orphan and had to be bottle fed. In September, Bug and Maddie will compete against other unwanted horses to show off basic horse training skills. They've been rescues, 
either from neglect or abuse cases or they've been turned over to the hooved animal rescue. Equine researchers at the U of M say the state's unwanted horse population can be traced to slaughter plants closing and the high cost of feeding the animals. This is a 40 pound bale of hay. Most horses would eat that in about two days. It was high hay prices that caused a lot of horse owners to give up their animals. The prices have come down, but the need continues. If you've been behind economically, even though the hay prices come down, it's still a significant amount of money. Before Gulliver traveled to this old horse rescue in Hastings, he was just skin and bones. He will be a beautiful, healthy round. We call it round and sound. To feed needy horses, Nancy Turner says the rescue has a waiting list of animals. Last week, they got a dozen calls from owners in need of help. That's why people say my horse is in fine condition, but I can no longer afford to take care of it. For Maddie, she'd like to win the training competition, but knows that first prize is a forever home for Bug. Any progress we make with them is going to give them a better chance at a new home, and that's all what it really counts towards. In Afton, Eric Shalou, 5 Eyewitness News. And Harrier isn't the only victim. Right now, 26 vases are reported missing from graves right here at the cemetery. And investigators say there's no telling how many more haven't been reported yet. What has that done to the price of limes? It's skyrocketed from roughly 20 bucks a case. Students won't even enter any of the buildings. They'll do all of their classwork online, right from the comfort of their own home. $1,000 through this website. His goal is 5000 This three-year, $34 million contract 